not easy being me we'll Wash your face and brush your hair we'll Nag, 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 it's just not fair I'm Horrid Henry So down with school, I'm gonna rule And when I'm king, I'll do my thing And then my life will be so sweet I'm Horrid Henry Well, it's so easy being me I'm Horrid Henry That's the one I want, Mum! Mm -hmm. What did you say, Henry? I said... Mum! Mum, look out for the window! Henry, what? What are you doing? I'm trying to get you to look out of the window! Look out of the window? Why would I want to do that? Mm, so you can see Mischievous Mike on his scooter! And why would I want to see Mischievous Mike on his scooter? Because his scooter is a really, really cool scooter! Look! I can't see anything. That's because there isn't anything to see anymore! Because he's gone! On his scooter, which is really cool! Right. Well, looking out of the window won't get this carpet cleaned, will it? Oh, great! The vacuum cleaner's broken again. Honestly, I don't know how this room gets so messy in just one day. Really, Henry. Here, you can finish cleaning the carpet with this. What? And I'll sort the laundry out. That way we won't all end up pretty in pink. <laughs> Girls. Great. What I want, what I really, really want is a scooter. And instead I get a carpet cleaner. No! a scooter. Is that too much to ask? Everyone in the whole world has got a scooter, except me. Think of all the things I could do if I had a scooter. Hey, good shot, Henry. Mind that. Dog. <laughs> Reckon it's their lucky day then. <laughs> Scooter Brown, Brian, Al, Bert. Let's go, Scooters! Scooter! Mr. Park Keeper, the Scoot Tooters are here! Job well done! <sighs> Never fear, Mum, the Scoot Tooters are here! Let's go, Scoot Tooters! this edition of Too Cool for School with a very important news story. Yes, it's very important. Even more important than Too Cool for School. We have just learned that someone has stolen something really rare and very valuable from the museum. This sounds like a job for the school tutors! Don't you want any biscuits, boys? Thanks, Mum. 
those boys. Mrs. Crunch, can you tell us any more about the really rare and very valuable thing that has been stolen from the museum? Yes. Yes, I can. Um, could you tell us that? Yes. Yes, I could. Um, now would be good, Mrs. Crunch. Oh, uh, 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 yes. Uh, uh, who would have thought that one of our really rare and very valuable exhibits would be stolen from under our very noses? And that valuable exhibit would be, Mrs. Crunch? A worm! A worm? Yes, a worm. But not just any worm. One of the most rare and valuable worms the world has ever seen. No! Scooter! Excuse Can me! We Can we get through? Excuse Thank me! You. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, what are we going to do? Oh. Uh, there, there. Never fear, Mrs. Crunch. The Scoop Tooters are here! Thank goodness, you're here. Oh, I don't think even the Scoop Tooters can solve this mystery. Oh! We're going in. They're going in. Henry! Henry! Peter! I'm coming with you. No, Peter. It could be dangerous. The thieves might still be in there. But I can help you, Henry. I don't think you can, Peter. This is Scoot Tooter's work. But I know everything there is to know about worms. I might be able to find some clues for you. All right then, Peter. We'll go in together. Oh, thank you, Henry. Scoot Tooter! Scoot Tooter! It's very dark in here. Don't worry, little brother. We just have to find some light. Oh, thank you, Brian. He's not called Brady Brian for nothing. Now let's find out what's happened to this worm. Hmm, where do they keep the worms? I don't know. I do. Follow me. Ah! What was that? Sorry about that. <laughs> He's not called Rude Ralph for nothing. The one is over here. Oh, look at all those worms. Yes, the common Arthicus wormicus. Not the worm we're looking for. What worm are we looking for, then? We're looking for the Extracus Specialis Wormicus. Cool! But what's Extracus Specialis about it? I don't know. Extracus Specialis Wormicus. Extremely rare and very valuable. Yeah, yeah, we know that already. Likes to eat the leaves of the Extracus Specialis tree. Look! Extracus Specialis tree! With no leaves on it! With no leaves on it! You're right, Ralph! Mm, yep, sometimes I am! Hey, maybe I should be called Right Ralph! <laughs> come on, come on! We've got to find out who's stolen the Wormicus Sunicus! Otherwise the Scum Tutor's reputation will be ruined us! I wonder... No time to wonder, Peter! Al, do you think you can jump all the way up there? Well... They don't call him aerobic owl for nothing! <laughs> can you see anything? What am I looking for? A small white worm! With gold spots on it? Yes! I can see it! Is it asleep? Yes! You found it! No! You found it. No, we found it. Remember the Scoot Tooter's motto? All in, all out. That's what we've got to shout about. And so our very important news story ends happily. Thanks to the Scoot Tooters, it seems that the really rare and very valuable worm wasn't stolen after all. It was only hibernating after a very large lunch. Just 
clean the living room floor. Oh, uh, yeah. Never fear, school tutors were here. Um, yes. Well, I think you've earned a reward for all that hard work. How about a chocolate biscuit? What a lovely surprise. Oh, nonsense. It's the first Saturday of the month and we always do our charity drop on the first Saturday of the month. Oh, yes. Thanks for reminding me. Oh, goody. More goodest new toys to play with. Uh, won't you come in? Have a cup of tea? No, thank you. We've got lots to do today. Leave it there, Eustatius. <laughs> I said, leave it, Eustatius. Thanks a lot. <laughs> Useless Eustatius. <laughs> Don't be horrid, Henry. Oh, look at this. Can I have this, Mum? Of course you can, sweetie pie. I wouldn't mind if I hadn't got up early to clean the house. Whoa, cool. Henry. Tidy up the mess you've made. Look at this! Henry, did you hear what I said? Oh, yeah, in a minute. But I've always wanted a scooter. None of this is getting your Saturday chores done, is it? Here I am, sorting socks. Well, they're nearly the same. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nice catch, Fang. <laughs> Don't think this will catch on as a hobby. Sock sorting. And he's off. Henry, the champion sock sorter of all time. He can sort socks like Ed Banger can play guitar. Or the fearless phantom can walk through walls. The all-time sock sorter who gets what he wants. All the time. Every time. <laughs> yeah, right. What do you think? Could it work? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's a deal. Henry does it again. Big time. Nice catch, Fang. <laughs> Oops, sorry, Fang. Let's put these where they belong. Nearly <laughs> <laughs> there, Fang. And then it's time to watch Gross Glass Breakout. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh oh. We've got a loner. Oh. For those of you who may not know about the significance of a loner, this apparently innocent solo sock means that we will not find happiness after all. It means that we are doomed to spending the rest of the afternoon looking for the sock which goes with this one. Or even a sock which doesn't go with this one. An impossible task, for as we all know, there is always one sock left over. Why does this always happen to me, Fang? Oh, well, I suppose it's not the sock's fault. Or is it? Nope, nothing. Come on, Fang, we're done here. <laughs> Thanks, Wash. Did he just call me Wub? Did you just call me Wub? Henry, what's all this noise about? He just called me Worm! The Worm called me Worm! <laughs> really? The Worm turns, eh, Henry? <laughs> the Worm turns. That's quite funny. No, it's not. It's not funny at all. I know you're in there. Well, you can just stay in there, then. Worm still turning, Henry? Not funny. How are the chores coming along? I'm doing them, just not now. So I see. And I'm guessing the washing isn't washing itself? I'll get it done. And the bins? Oh, yes, the bins too. After you, Fluffy. Thinking of others. <laughs> yeah, meet you in the park after tea. Oh, and Ralph, I've got we. 
fails. <laughs> See you later. Steve still plays with number gnomes. I've got wheels. <laughs> Just off to the park for a quick scoot. The fact that it's Saturday and I haven't done my chores yet has got nothing to do with me going out to get some fresh air. <laughs> Hello there, young Henry. Got a minute? Yeah, sure. Only I've got a little job for you. Henry, there you are. Uh, yep, here I am. Hold fear, would you? Uh, sure. <laughs> Word to the wise, young Henry. Yeah? Best not to jiggle her up and down too much. Oh? <laughs> right. Oh, just as well I've got my cleaning cloth with me. <laughs> bring her up, Henry! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, bring her up. Very funny. Grown-ups are so weird. Turns out Prissy Polly had an emergency situation. <gasps> it's an emergency situation. Really, it is. <laughs> the beauty salon said they could fit me in if I went right away. <laughs> and Mum said I could do with a little helper. <sighs> <laughs> Again, sorting socks. Ah, duck. No, Vera, we've got to find the other one. <laughs> hey, good job. <laughs> I can't take much more of this. <laughs> Oh, no, you don't. <laughs> Great. Took a bit of persuading to get Mum to let me out. She wanted me to babysit vomiting Vera again. As if. As if. Oh, I didn't mean... It's all right, Henry. Not a big fan of vomit myself. You said you had a job for me. Yeah. This needs to go to number 43. Cool. How much? How much what? How much are you going to pay me for the delivery? <laughs> Deliver that first one safely and I'll give you something for this one. OK. That was quick. That's me, the Scoot Scooter. Oh, I like it, Henry. Quite the little businessman, aren't you? There's a penny in it for you if you deliver that one just as quickly. Cool. And double the fee if you get all these delivered the day before yesterday. <laughs> Only joking, Henry. Just get them delivered double quick. No problem, boss. <laughs> You'll be your own boss soon. <laughs> your own boss, eh? <laughs> That's what you think. So lovely to see you both. <laughs> Do come again soon. Hey, what about my payment? Now oh, I gave it to your boss. You didn't tell me you'd already set up a business. I didn't know I'd already set up a business. Yeah, your boss came over just after you'd gone, said you're splitting the payments 50-50. Did she now? I'm assuming it was a girl. Yeah, said she was the beauty and the brains. Yeah, that figures. I was quite impressed, Henry, I must say. <laughs> that was nice. Henry? Henry? He's really taking this fresh air thing seriously. Should I be worried? Henry, is that your new 
scooter? Well, it's my new old scooter. Mm, one of Stock Up Steve's cast offs. Looking pretty good, though. Come on, let's ride! <laughs> you alright, Henry? Yeah, I'm just getting used to it, I guess. <laughs> Brian. Good book, Brian. Oh, yes. It's called The Scooter of Doom. And it's all about a scooter. No kidding. Oh, yes. It's all about a scooter that's haunted. A haunted scooter? Yes. The owner can't get rid of it and ends up having to ride it for the rest of his life. That sounds like one scary scooter. It is. Well, if you'll excuse me. Oh, yes. Yeah. Bye, Brian. Better get off his flower bed, Henry. I'm trying, honest, but it won't go the way I want it to. <laughs> Henry, come on. Stop messing about. I'm not messing about, Ralph. This thing's got a life of its own. Time, Henry. Dad, can I ask you something? Yes, Henry. You can ask me anything. Do you believe that a thing can be haunted? What sort of a thing? Well, just a thing that you might own that's always getting you into trouble. Hmm. You mean like a briefcase or a pen? Well, kind of. I had a pen once. Got me into all sorts of trouble. Leaked in my shirt pocket. <laughs> Took mum ages to get it out. Don't think it was haunted, though. Uh, OK. That answer your question, Henry? Uh, yeah. Thanks, Dad. Always happy to talk things over, Henry. You know that. Night, Dad. Night, Henry. Thank you. 
What is it? I need your help. Shh. All right, then. But you'd better be quick. I've got to finish this book before the end of library time. Why? Well, so I can start another one, of course. Really? That's weird. Quiet in the stacks, please. It's the Scooter of Doom. The Scooter of Doom? Yeah, I've got one. Brian, I expect better of you. Sorry, sir. Well, I'll let you off just this once, Brian. What do you mean? You've got the Scooter of Doom, Henry. I need your help, Brian. <laughs> I said... Oh. Are you sure this will work, Brian? It says here the only way to get rid of a scary scooter is to pass it on to someone else. Hmm. Well, let's hope someone else wants it. Someone's coming! Please look after this scooter. Well, if no one else is looking after you. <laughs> Thanks, Brian. I owe you one. Any time, Henry. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Once my dad took the stone out of the wheel, it worked. Look! 